Pillai Lokacharya was a prominent Sri Vaishnava leader and philosopher who authored several works important to Vishishtadvaita philosophy. Avatara The name Ulagariya or Lokacharya first became associated with Sri Nampillai when Sri Kanthadai Thazapar celebrated him as the Acharya for the world. Kanthadai Thazapar Tham Ugapal Ena Ulagariyano Enru Arika. Nampillai's disciple was Sri Vidaku Thiruvi the Pillai. Out of great affection for his Acharya, Vidaku Thiruvi the Pillai named his first son as Pillai Lokacharya. Anbal Ana Thiru Namath Thaya Tharathu Manu Pugaz Mainthar Sarakayal. Once Nampillai asked Vidakath Thiruvi that Pillai's mother Ami about her welfare. She told him that she was sad as her family was not being furthered because her son was staying away from his wife and was not having a child. Nampillai asked her to bring her daughter-in-law to his presence. When she did, he told her daughter-in-law that she would give birth to a son just like himself. He then called his disciple Vidakath Thiruvi the Pillai and told him to follow proper Gruhastasrama and that it would not cause any damage to his vairagya. Vidakath Thiruvi the Pillai obeyed his Acharya's words and in time a son was born to him, he named him Pillai Lokacharya out of respect for his Acharya. While worshipping Lord Ranganatha with his disciple's son on his Apthapurthi day, Lord commanded Sri Nampillai to bless Sri Vidaku Thiruvi the Pillai to have another son like Lord himself. The second son was named Azagiya Manavala Purumal Nayanar, after Lord Ranganatha. Sri Pillai Lokacharya was born as the Amsam of Kanchi Devaraha Varadaraha Purumal in the month of Ipasi under the star Thiruvonam, in the year 1205 CE. <laughs> Early life In their youth, both brothers learned everything from their Acharya Nampillai as well as from their father. They grew up like Sri Rama and Sri Lakshmana. Topic. Greatness In foreword to his Vyakyanam of Sri Vakana Bhushanam, Manavala Mamanagal tells of the following event. Once upon a time Kanchi Devaraha Purumal out of his Nurhaduka Krupa selected one Manarpakam Nambi, and appearing in his dream taught him some special Rahasya meanings. He also advised him to go live in Sarangam and wait for him there where he will teach him in further detail those meanings. Manarpakam Nambi moved to Sarangam, built a small temple and quietly lived there worshipping him and keeping the meanings revealed by him to himself. One day Pillai Lokacharya came to that temple with his close disciples and seeing the quiet nature of the place began teaching them the meanings of Rahasyas. Nambi listening from inside noted that these meanings were the same as taught by Lord Varadaraja to him. He then came out and bowing at Pillai Lokacharya's feet, asked him, Avero near. Are you the one the same as Devaraja? Pillai Lokacharya replied, Aam Avidhan? Yes, what for that? Manarpakam Nambi explained his dream to him. This is the Avatara Rahasyam of Pillai Lokacharya. Pillai Lokacharya then took him as his disciple and taught him the meanings of the Rahasyas. Nambi then told him that Lord Varadaraja had asked him to request Pillai Lokacharya to collect these meanings as a book. The book thus written is Sri Vikana Bhushanam. Manavala Mamanagal speaks of the greatness of this work in several Pasarams in his Upadisarathinamalai. Mamanagal also says that this is the greatest of Pillalokacharya's works. Inarulal Saitha Kalai Yavayilam. Nishte Both Sri Pillai Lokacharya and Sri Azagiya Manavala Purumal Nayanar remained as Brahmacharis to make sure that their Vairakyam is not hindered. Because of this only, they were boldly able to advise that for a Sri Vaishnava, leading a marriage life even with his wife is not good. <inaudible> Disciples Pillai Lokacharya's primary disciples were Sri Azagiya Manavala Purumal Nayanar, Kurakalathama Dasa, Manarpakam Nambi, Kalakavala Dasa, Azagiya Manavala Purumal Pillai, Katoralanar, and Valanchalai Pillai. Also at a young age Sarisailesa Pillai and Thirunavirudeyapiran Dotharanar became his disciples. The former is the Acharya of Sri Manavala Mamanagal and the latter is his father. Mamanagal's father was Kalakavala Dasa's disciple at Sikal Kadaram and married his daughter. 
Thuravimazi Pillai learned everything from Kurakulathama Dasa. Thus, Mamanagal gained the great wealth of Sambandam with Pillai Lokacharya through his Acharya Sarisilesa, his father and his maternal grandfather. <laughs> Pillai Lokacharya's efforts to save Namparumal While Pillai Lokacharya lived in Sarangam heading Emparamanar's Darshanam, the Islamic invasion of the city occurred. To save the temple and Pariya Purumal, his Sanidhi was covered with brick stones and a different Vigraha was kept in front by Sri Pillai Lokacharya. Pillai Lokacharya left Sarangam along with Namparumal and Nakimars ahead of the invasion. While going through a forest they were attacked by thieves who stole all the jewellery and vessels of Namparumal. Pillai Lokacharya gave them everything he had and even rejected the items when they returned them to him. Happy that they left Namparumal with him, he continued on. They then reached a small town called Jyotishkuti, near Othakade, Madurai. Here Pillai Lokacharya fell ill due to a fall from a nearby hill today known as Yanamalai and reached his lotus feet. The year was 1311 CE and the day was Jayeshtha Suda Devadasi. At his death bed he advised his disciples such as Kurakulathama Dasa and Valanchsalai Pillai that Sarisilesa was working for the king at Madurai and that they should bring him back into the Srivaishnava fold so that he could lead the Darshanam. His Samadhi temple still exists, one kilometre from the Narasimha temple at Othakade, near Madurai. While Swami was about to leave this world and reach Acharyan's lotus feet, he started touching the ants and other such insects near him. All such animals will get to reach Sri Vaikuntha if they have been touched by a Sri Vaishnava, such was Sri Pillai Lokacharya's karnya towards the living beings. A Zagiya Manavala Purumal Nayanar reached Acharyan's lotus feet at his 65th year. Pillai Lokacharya lived to the age of 106 years. Works Sri Pillai Lokacharya authored Ragasya Granthas with mercy in his heart towards the Samsaras. He has authored the following 18 Ragasya Granthas, collectively known as Astadasa Ragasya. Mumukshupadi Tattvatrayam Artha Panjakam Shri Vachana Bhushanam Archaradi Pramaya Sakaram Prapana Parithranam Sara Sangraham Samsara Samrajam Navarathnamalai Navavita Sambandam Yadruchikapadi Parandapadi Sriyapati Padi Tatvazakaram Thani Dwayam Thani Karamam Thani Pranavam All these works are done in Manapravalam, a mix of Tamil and Sanskrit languages. Topic: <laughs> Works praising Sri Pillai Lokacharya. Valanchsalai Pillai has praised Pillai Lokacharya's work Sri Vachana Bhushanam by singing Saptha Kathai and Sri Vedanta Desikan sung Lokacharya Panchazat. Citation needed in praise of Sri Pillai Lokacharya. Topic. See also. Ramanuja. Manavala Mamanigal. Topic. References. Topic. External links. God According to Ramanuja, Venkatanatha and Lokakarya, Surendranath Dasgupta, 1940 Pillai Lokacharya Life History and Works, from Acharya.org Srivaishnava.org Vedics Foundation Pillai Lokacharya